Hello and welcome to this uh, very short demo of H4V app for converting your hydrogen holographic photos uh, for professional distribution. So we want the artist name and the copyright and the GPS and watermarks and those sorts of things on them. Uh, let me talk you through it. So I've got a little video here just shot on the hydrogen so we can see the sort of thing that we're talking about. So here's my hydrogen. I go into the red player and look at some photos I took today at the Sydney fish markets and they're all holographic um, with the little different holographic icons there. Um, now this one's shot in H4V Pro, um, so if I pull up this other app that just lets me look at the um, the meta information actually in that image, um, we will see in just a moment when I scroll all the way through these and find the right one. There it is. It's an H4V Pro image and so you can see that side-by-side -side effect there. And we can see here that the geolocation is unknown and there's no artist and there's no copyright. So um, this, isn't, this really isn't very good if I want to um, share this image around because I've got, yeah, I've got no way to do that. What we want to end up with, now here, here's one I prepared earlier, um, using H4V app we can convert that to uh, a, a single JPEG image and it's now got the geolocation and it's got the artist and the copyright information in there. And uh, if we go into Red Player um, and if we actually have to, um, yes, find the H4V app photos. There it is. So now it's not an H4V Pro, it's just as an H4V, it's showing holographic. And if I turn it on its side, which is a bit hard to do when you're recording the screen like this, you'll see there's also a watermark. There we go. There's the March Hare logo watermark on the bottom right hand corner there. So the photo is still holographic, but we, we have it watermarked and we have the meta information stored in there. Um, and that's what we want. So now that was just a, a little video. How do we do it? Um, h4vapp.com Now this, uh, I'm using High Sierra, but this should work using any recent version of Mac OS. Um, there's the license agreement, instructions, um, uh, but what we want to do right now is download the software. There it is. And here are the instructions. Uh, this is beta test software, so please be aware that I might have done something wrong um, and uh, this could damage your images, whatever. Make sure you've got backups. Look at what the results that you're getting. The primary purpose of this software is to uh, take your H4V Pro uh, holographic images and make them shareable. So um, your source material um, is pretty safe here. This is more about what you're ending up with to share. So it's a pretty low risk proposition, but trust me, I'm a professional software developer and this is being released through my company. So we're pretty good here, but lots of um, warnings and disclaimers about it being beta test software. Um, when it's no longer in beta test, um, it will have a nice little um, right click menu in the finder. Um, uh, so it'll be nice and easy to use and we will be charging a small fee for it. But for now, it's all command line joy only. So we're still just waiting for that to download. It's almost there. There it is. It comes down as this little installer image. Asks you to accept the license agreement, which you just agree to. Thinking, thinking, lots of warnings. Use this at your own risk. Now, I am going to uh, home and stick this in there. 
but I'm not installing it in my applications folder or anywhere like that. And I'm just rename that. So there we've got some documentation. We've got some sample images. Um, and here we've got the command. So now the next most important thing here is we go to applications and we go to utilities. I'm just going to close that window. Go to utilities and open the terminal. You may never have done this before. Um, or you may be very familiar with it already. So I'm going to change to that directory and there we go. We've got a couple of sample images. Um, there's the finder. Here's my sample images. So that's a holographic image there with the uh, image in the hologram and the uh, metadata and there's a side-by-side -side image. Okay, let us quickly run through how to use this software. If we go there's a little bit of help and it's just basically saying yep you don't have a license key installed so we say sudo which means I want to give this app lots of privileges so that it can install a license. We type license, simple and you'll need to type your password in there. And now, bingo, we have a 21 day license. Uh, this is just a quick, simple, fixed 21 day license. So every day after today, um, the license will get shorter. Um, we will have something on the website so people get individual uh, license keys. Um, we'll get that up working in January. But for now, there we go. Now, once you've run it once, you don't. it doesn't need privileges anymore. doesn't really do very much there. So there are instructions. So we've done that. We've done the, the, the license step. Um, and now, um, yeah, basic thing to let's just convert this image here, which is currently uh, um, a, a standard H4V image, and I want to make it a H4V Pro. There we go. And you'll see that we now have a left and a right and a two by one. There, left and a right and a two by one. So converted like that. Uh, and of course we can go the other way. We can take a two by one. We can take a two by one and we can convert it into an image for sharing. There we go. Not by date, that'll make it easy to find things. So uh, uh, by default, your um, your images that look like that, that have the uh, the right hand image in the meta in, uh, screen, have a small image in of the the right hand. It's a 1K right hand image and a 4K left hand image. Uh, by default, we generate 4K on both, um, but we also generate an H4V small. Uh, uh, which is obviously smaller in physical file size because the right hand, hand image is a quarter of the size. Um, now, uh, there's lots of additional things that uh, uh, you can do here, um, including put in the copyright information and all that. So uh, let's have a, a, a quick look at what we can do there. So I'm going to cheat by copying and pasting here. There we go, set the copyright information. Set the artist information. Now, 
also going to set up a watermark. I've provided a couple of sample watermarks uh, in with the software. There we go. Uh, and so now I can do that same thing, but I'm going to say over right to right over the images that we've already created. Copyright to apply the copyright info, artist to apply the artist info, and oops, bad cop and cut, bad cut and paste, bad cut and paste. There we go. So we record all of those settings once and we don't have to then do them every time. And now if we go here, we will see that we have that same thing again, but now we've got a watermark. And if we look at the, the, the metadata using a metadata viewer, we will find uh, that we've got the EXIF. You can copy that back to your Hydrogen 1 and it will be um, holographic. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Go download the software and enjoy using this for uh, converting your H4V Pro uh, photos uh, to shareable images for use over the Christmas break. Okay, thank you. Bye.